Velvet Sky, your first round match is coming up next, so it looks like all hopes for a knockout title shot rests on you. Okay, really? Are you trying to rub it in? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. The fact that that, whatever that was out there mm -hmm. just beat me? Let me tell you something, Mike Stand. <laughs> <laughs> I could beat Hamada, or whatever her, her name is, any day of the week. That's right. Yeah. Apparently not tonight. Oh, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Have you even seen the brackets for tonight? If Madison had won, she'd have to face me after I beat Roxy. Yeah. And as much as the sickos out there would love to see that, it's just not going to happen. Oh, nope. sorry. So Madison just went out there and totally softened up her mother for me in round two. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. totally, totally what I did. Yeah, it's called strategery. Maybe you should look it up if you can read. <laughs> whatever, whatever you ladies say. You know what? I don't like your tone. I don't either. I'm gonna like go ahead tone. and call the elephant in the room a spade. <laughs> elephant. You know the only reason you're here is because Lauren got fired. Okay. And you know why she got fired? Because she assaulted me without it's okay. cause. It's okay. Without I cause. Yeah, I didn't do yeah. You girls tortured the poor girl. No, we didn't. Are you kidding? Please, everybody has a breaking point. You knew exactly what you were doing. No, we Excellent. didn't. Excuse me. That's your opinion. Friday. That's your opinion. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, Lauren slapped Lacey. Mm -hmm. She put her hands on Lacey. And there's no room, no room no, for that no. sort of unprofessional behavior in this business. None. Zip. And all I had to do was say four words to TNA management. Unsafe work environment. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is. So cool. watch it, Hemi, because if we have to, the beautiful people will cleanse anyone who gets in our way, including you, Especially you. from TNA. Just like that. Let's go win this match. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender tournament continues with this first round match scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Turn to TNA. Yeah, and Roxy had an impressive victory on the then knockout champ ODB in a non title match. Her opponent representing the beautiful people from the Big Apple, Velvet Sky. And how about Velvet Sky and the beautiful people? And what was I going to talk about again? Oh, yeah, the, 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 I don't even know what we're sorry. talking about. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was going to talk about the unsafe working conditions. And I got distracted. I don't know what's so unsafe about it. Velvet Sky's okay, not no, here. No, I was talking about the, the beautiful people went to TNA management. They claimed that because Lacey Von Erich was assaulted by our broadcast colleague, Lauren, the unsafe working conditions that they were put under, and the beautiful people go to TNA management and they get Lauren fired? Yeah, that's a shame. But I'll tell you what. You don't sound so I, torn up. I, I, so speaking of tearing it up, I, I just got hydraulics in that thing. It's like, burp, 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 burp. it's unbelievable. Hydraulics? Match number three, opening round. It's a quarterfinal round of this New Year's Knockout Eve tournament. The hardcore <laughs> knockout Roxy to square off against Velvet Sky. Well, you know, Madison Rain of the beautiful people was not able to advance. Let's see here if, if Velvet can. Oh, yeah! And with Lacey Von Erich not entered into the eight-woman tournament, this is the last chance if the beautiful people are gonna move on in this tournament and get a shot at the new knockout champion, Tara. This is where they need a win for Velvet Sky. Oh! Bringing a lot of momentum right there and impact. Velvet Sky, look, she might, might beat Roxy here. Oh. Wait, impressive face plant right into the pinning predicament. Doesn't get the three, but then goes to the mount. Just rains down those rights, and there's the blatant chokehold right in front of the referee. And Velvet is excellent in that position. I mean, she's got a great uh, balance in that area. Pier two. Look at this. 
Oh! That would be out of the Antonio Inoki playbook. Well, everything except biting and the, the tights. Biting Russell. in the tights. Yeah. Plus, he has the octopus submission hold applied. Oh. I don't think Inoki ever wore tights that way. That would be kind of weird. Never filled them out like that, I'll tell you. <laughs> Velvet ends up getting the boot right in the face, courtesy of Roxy. And really, from the outset of this match, Roxy's never got it rolling. Let's see yeah, if she well, can mount a comeback. That's the thing. Roxy now seems to. He's got Velvet reeling and rocking. Oof! Yeah, rocking. That was rocktacious. Fired up discus forearm shot. Then into the corner. Oh. Roxy follows up with the elbow to the midsection. Oh, man. Off the boot to the chest. Directly into the pin. Had the leg hook. Good weight positioning. Roxy was not shy with that front running boot. Velvet, tra well, Velvet uh, was trying to get out of the way, but that didn't happen. Boot to the midsection, doubles over Roxy. Yeah, she took the uh, front hammerlock here. And, oh my God, I don't like. I don't like. This is dangerous here. Velvet's in deep trouble. Good God, what is she gonna do? Oh, voodoo drop. Pin two, three. To the winner, Roxy. Voodoo drop, nasty. Roxy advances along with Hamada. N O D B. Fill it out my bracket here. I You're right. Yes. Roxy moves on. Hamada, ODB in our first three matches of the New Year's Eve knockout tournament. Wait, wait a minute. We're going to go to JB at ringside. Thank you very much, Mike. Certainly a big win now for you, Roxy. Advancing to the semifinals of this tournament tonight at the same time, eliminating the beautiful people from tonight's tournament. Feels so great to be a part of this, and I'm so glad to finally take out some of that trash. Whoa. respect for Tara as the knockout champ. I think she's great. And I can't wait to get in the ring with her and show everybody what I got. Well, certainly so much behind, much behind you. Go! From Lacey Von Erich. She's got the ugly stick. Oh! oh. Came charging down the ramp and an attack from behind. For those that don't know, Lacey is the other member of the beautiful people. Choking out Roxy with that ugly stick. Well, Madison Rain, Velvet Sky eliminated earlier in the tournament, but Lacey Von Eric wants to make sure the beautiful people, they're still represented tonight.